Welcome to the Simple SQL tutorial on how to do a quick start. So this assumes that you've already downloaded the Simple SQL package from the Assets Store and you have it in your, your assets. We're going to start with a blank scene. So let's start by creating some game objects. We'll create one here for the DB Manager. This will handle all the requests to the SQL Lite engine. We'll add a component, Simple SQL Manager. And for the database file, we're just going to use one from our demos. I'll use the fantasy one. Just drag and drop there, or you can search if you want. If you want to override the base path where the file will be, uh, this won't really work on mobile, but it work on uh, other platforms like Mac and Windows. If you want to change the name of the file, you can do that here. In case there's some conflict and updates, you can change that. If you want to overwrite if it exists, so if the file is static data that's not going to change at runtime, this is a good setting. Anytime you make changes in this project database, it will overwrite that database on the platform. You have to be real careful with this because if it, there is data being updated at runtime, it will be overwritten if you have this checked. So this is only for static data, not dynamic data. Debug trace will just output console information for debugging. We'll leave those blank. All right, we're going to create an output text for the scene. And let's just clear out the text there. Let's go ahead and make it full screen. And let's center it. And we'll create one more game object for the logic. And let's just go ahead and create a new script for it. That will put, place this in the assets. We'll go and open it. Okay, we're going to add a few reference here. We need one for the Unity Engine UI to reference the text. We'll do one for Simple SQL. Let's add a few public parameters. And in the start, we'll do var results equals db manager query. And we're going to give it the type weapon. That comes from the demos, so we'll need to actually reference the demos. Simple SQL demos weapon select star from weapon. What that's going to do is pull all the data from our weapon table in that database that we assigned to the DB Manager. This is going to store it into a, a list of results. So let's go ahead and iterate over that list. We'll do each result in the results. And then we'll just do our output text and add the result. Let's call it what let's use the weapon name. So the result stores, let's actually go to that. And the weapon, this is the ORM class that's set up for that weapon table. You can see that it has all the fields of the table. And one of those fields is weapon name. That's what we're going to reference here. So when the query returns, it stores all those results into a list, an array of records, each one having these fields. So we're going to reference that. I'll just add a carriage return on the end. Let's clear out the output before we fill it, just in case we're running it a second time. Save that. Let's go back over here. Now in our logic, we have a couple of fields we need to populate. So we're going to drag the text into our output. We're going to drag the DB manager to our DB manager. And then we'll run it. And I have a syntax error. Let's go back to this. I spelled select wrong. Let's go back here and run it. And you can see the list of weapons from the weapons table. 